Hi everybody, it's Marcy. I'm trying to get rid of that sun issue, but one of the things I love most about my house is how bright it all is. Well, sometimes of year it's not as easy. So um, we're like gonna go with it at this angle, see how this, how this works. Although I'm certainly not really prepared for cooking on this side of my island. Um, so today we're going to make all kinds of different um, ice cream and I really, one of the reasons I'm late is I really just changed my mind about five minutes ago. Um, I asked a few friends, what flavor of ice cream do you think would be good? And I got all different answers. <laughs> I was not expecting everyone to have a different opinion. But um, so the thing I love about our mousse is that First of all, you can make it in five minutes. And second of all, it goes, it turns into a great ice cream and we can do so many different things with it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making the mousse. Now I've showed you before, oh, and I'm so close over here. <laughs> wow. So this is our mousse kit. It comes in a big box like this and it has four packets of these. This is the chocolate mousse mix. And then it has, well, not exactly these, but, oh yes, this is it. It has eight of these because it takes two of these to make a batch of mousse. So it makes four batches. That is like the best deal, I think, ever. So you get four batches of dessert. Not just four desserts, four batches. So the, they say it makes 16. I actually always use a little bit extra, um, of the heavy whipping cream and it goes much farther. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are, Dave. Okay, oh, gotta turn this down. Oh, this is gonna be so awkward doing this over here now. Okay, so I just poured in some heavy whipping cream. The recipe calls for three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and use more because I'm going to be um, making several different kinds and I want it to go a little farther. And it can, that's the good thing. Okay. So really start to finish, it is five minutes. I'm gonna turn this on. And let it start going. And while that's going, I'm gonna talk to you about some of the different flavors. So you can add a couple of our sauces in here, believe it or not. I was debating, I love our raspberry balsamic um, glaze. You can use that. That would give it a great flavor. Cherry habanero gives it a great flavor. Blackberry chipotle. Um, and instead of using the bars that I showed you that come with it, you can mix it up. We have, I know they were there on my other side, aha. We have our cookie bar collection that has cookies and cream and, um, oh gosh, I'm totally blanking on the other flavors. Ones that, uh, oh my gosh, my kids love it. Well, three different flavors of cookies, of uh, cookie bars. You can melt these and make, okay. Um, you can melt those and turn those into the mousse. The other thing I'm gonna try is our white chocolate peppermint bars. Okay, don't those sound fabulous? So, um, I'm not gonna make the mousse all the way through. I'm gonna stop and divide it into different things. And you guys are gonna see as much as I do how it works out. Okay, if you look down now, the, um, the cream is pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and add the mousse to it, the mousse mix. All of that in there. I'm gonna start it slow because otherwise it just sprays and I know you guys love watching that. Okay so here we go. Here is our basic recipe. I'm also not within reach of the sink over here. Um, okay so here's the basic recipe. We have the mousse mix and the heavy whipping cream together. I'm gonna mix them together a little bit better. Now I'm gonna change things up. Normally at this point, I would mix in our dark chocolate, our dark chocolate bars. This time I'm not gonna do that though. 
I've melted some of our white chocolate peppermint and believe me, it was, uh, it was a very nice thing that I like was willing to let this much of the, these go because they are fabulous. Okay, let me just make sure these are melted. Yep. Uh-oh, looks like the peppermint sort of stuck. I actually was thinking about, too, instead of melting this, um, just breaking them up and putting them in the ice cream. Um, okay. So, let's see. I'm going to take a bowl. And I'm going to put some of the mousse in there. Not that much. Just a little. Because I've got all kinds of different ways we're going to do this. And I'm going to take the white chocolate peppermint. And I would absolutely... Um, see the peppermint all sort of melted and stuck there. Um, I would absolutely break up another one of these to put on top of it. Okay, that's what we're going to get out of there. Okay, now all you do is fold that in. And there's one ice cream done. Oh, I can't wait to try these. Um, now, when I said it was five minutes, that's not including freezing time, so don't hate me for that. Okay, so here's the first one. I'm gonna put that in a small, con you know what? I'm just gonna put it right back in this container because that'll get the little leftover bits in it, maybe. Okay, and I'm gonna stick this in the freezer. And I can see all the little pieces of peppermint in there. Mm. Excuse me. And the white chocolate, this will be fabulous. Okay. I'm gonna put that one aside. And now, I think the rest of them, what else am I doing? Yeah, the rest of them I'm gonna use um, the dark chocolate for, so I'm gonna mix all of them into here. I'm gonna put the dark chocolate, actually, Chef Kirk said to always put a little of this in there first to make it mix better. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour it all in there. And you guys are gonna love some of these flavors. Now I have a friend who makes pudgy utter ice cream, who I would not wanna compete with him, but um, this is for when you are not having pudgy utter. Okay, so we're gonna fold this in. So this is this right here, just as this, would be a great ice cream. Mixing it till it's pretty consistent there. Okay, I'm going to start scooping this into other things. The first thing I'm gonna do is probably the easiest. I'm gonna scoop this into here. Should have gotten bigger bowls, but I thought I'd have a whole bunch of these, which I will, but okay. And the first one is, this was also a stretch. Our sea salt almonds, these are like the best thing in the world. Totally, there's totally crack in there. I will be the first to admit it. Um, but I chopped these up a little. And I really need a bigger bowl. But this will be the only one that's tough. Okay, so we've got the chocolate mousse. And we've got the dark chocolate sea salt almonds. Oh my gosh. Doesn't this sound fabulous? And I'm going to add some more because, you know, why not? These are pralined almonds covered with dark chocolate and sea salt. Uh-oh. Oh, and there is a good reason to have a dog. I know it's chocolate, but um, believe me, the size of the dogs that are here right now, they could eat a lot of this and still be fine. Um, if your dog ever does get a hold of chocolate, go online. There's a place you can look up. Um, I think it's called the toxicity chart. Okay, this one is good. I'm going to put a couple on top. It's a toxicity chart, and it tells you, um, based on your dog's weight, 
how dangerous whatever they just ate was. Okay, so here's our second ice cream. And our next one, our next two, I'm gonna actually do in containers because these might be a little hard. So the first one I'm gonna do is um, with our blackberry chipotle sauce. Now I know the chipotle sort of might scare some of you. Don't let it, it's really not spicy, that spicy. It'll add a little kick to uh, some of your dishes, but for this, it'll just add the delicious blackberry flavor. Okay, and remember with all of our sauces, they give you little emojis so that you know what to use it for. I don't think ice cream is on here though. Okay, gonna mix that up. My biggest problem is gonna be able to how to tell some of these apart. Well, the almonds will be easy and the white will be easy. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more even. I have another spoon. Yeah, that will be fabulous. Okay. And there's ice cream number three. I guess really four because we have the plain, which I'm not gonna do because that's too boring today. Okay, so we've got the blackberry chipotle one. And this is gonna go in the freezer. And the other thing too is if you don't want ice cream, you can just make these as mousse. You can do all these different flavors. I had so many other flavors I was thinking about making. Our um, white chocolate cinnamon pecan, doesn't that sound fabulous? Um, our, oh, espresso with hazelnut. How, how fabulous would espresso hazelnut ice cream be? Chocolate espresso hazelnut. Okay, and this one we are going to use our cherry habanero sauce. Um, I think I am going to take out, oh no, I think I'm going to just do it like that. Okay, so you can see the big chunks of cherries in this. I might even, I think I will, add some actual uh, dried cherries. Because I love these too. So here we go, some dried cherries going in. I don't think this one is gonna fit in that little container. <laughs> um, fold all of this in, it might. And then we have cherry habanero ice cream also. Oh my gosh, these sound wonderful. And now I'm gonna just stick them in the freezer until they're the consistency I want. If you want them a little softer, by all means, don't let them sit as long. Um, yeah, I have a, okay, that's not gonna fit. My niece always tells me I'm the worst judge when it comes to size on uh, containers. And she's right, again. Okay, Bela, that's a shout out for you. Um, okay, so we've got our four different ice creams. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them. I know, Diane, that cinnamon pecan, doesn't that sound fabulous? Um, so we've got all these different flavors. I will show you, I will take pictures or whatever, post something when they're done. But how easy is that? We made four ice creams in five minutes. And what a fun thing to do with kids or grandkids or something like, you know, any, I always did stuff with my nieces and nephews. So um, uh, check back with me to see how they turned out. But I can already tell you, they will be great. <laughs> Not that it's my doing, it's the product. So um, thanks for watching today. If you know anyone who's looking for a fundraiser or anybody who's looking for holiday gifting, please give me a call. Um, oh, and also if anybody wants to do that um, single, the single origin bar class, please let me know. Thanks, see you t tomorrow. Should I tell you what we're making tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow we're making something else really fun using a couple of different things. Thanks for watching, bye.